Is all that text messaging hurting your child's education, their language and writing skills? Well, not according to one expert. Joining us this morning is Grant Barrett. He's the author of the official Dictionary of Unofficial English, as well as the host of the NPR show called A Way With Words. Good morning, Grant. Thank you so much for being with Good us. Good morning. Uh, is all this texting, it, it's not ruining our kids' language skills, in your opinion? Oh, no, absolutely not. And I don't think it's an opinion, really. What we find is you can examine it statistically and show that the kids who have a great facility with slang and chat language actually have high levels of literacy. They go hand in hand. Well, what about teachers? Now, my wife is a teacher, and she complains to me that she gets papers all the time that's in this new slang that, that kids are doing with the texting. What, how do you explain that? Well, the teachers that I talk to also say the same thing, but what they also say is if they dock them a few points or give them a bad mark on their essay, the next time that chat language isn't there, the kids want good grades. And if they know that it's an easy thing just to leave the language out, then they'll probably do it. Well, slang has been around forever, but it just seems like we're inundated, it, inundated with it now more than ever. Is, is that the case? Well, I think we pay more attention to it. Certainly me as a lexicographer and you as a journalist, we're very attentive to new language because those are, that's our field, right? That we're, that's our, we're professionals in that, in that area. But I think uh, in general, we're not making more of it per person. Um, creating new words, though, is really a function of knowing language very well. It's sometimes frustrating for parents dealing with their kids uh, who uh, do all the texting and, and then are talking in this new kind of different language. Should we be concerned at all about it, or how do we deal with it? No, I, I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. Um, look, if, it, if a kid is using, uh, say, a handheld device like the Sony Milo, and they're uh, spending lots of hours on it um, using the Wi-Fi or the web browser or the chat or that kind of thing, they're increasing their literacy. They're increasing their ability to talk to other people. And everything that we do, um, from schoolwork to business to what have you, it's all about making sure that we're understood and that we understand other people. It's important. I guess it's, uh, it's just nice when your kids are talking to you, no matter what language they're speaking, I suppose. Yeah, uh, most parents uh, find that after a while they start to understand the language and it stops being a mystery and they do remember and laugh about the time when they thought it was all strange and, and foreign. How about the acronyms, the LOLs, the lots of loves, that sort of thing, uh, shortening up uh, sentences even, is that uh, a problem at all? Are you all right with that as well, Grant? Well, uh, I think uh, what we're looking for when we use those terms is clarity and we're also looking for speed. And if those two goals are met, then we're fine. But what you'll find is that if the guy on the other end doesn't understand you when you say LOL, what you're probably going to do is just say it a different way so that he does understand you. And that's all a part of normal communication. The plus side of this is that if it doesn't work, that kind of language, it disappears. All right, well, I'm feeling a little bit better about the future of our kids there this morning after talking to you. Thanks, Grant. We really appreciate it. Thank you.